gonna make some matches today, guys. <laughs> and then everybody's gonna like part of it <laughs> and then make the other part. Stop from all four, please. Go to try pose and come back off the other thing. Repeat this a few times. When you go down, you send your tailbone back, reach back beyond your body space, beyond the ability to reach. Do the same thing with your arms and fingers, but opposite way, but it's forward. You feel the flow of energy reaching out of the body, leaking from tailbone and finger continuously, scratching the skin of the body. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up, reach up for the ceiling with your arm. It's still on your knees, it's still. You're gonna stand up. Reach up for the ceiling. And go all the way to try and pose again based on like level one. <laughs> he wants us to face him. <laughs> yeah. Imagine I am the king and you just treat me like four, <laughs> five, six. <laughs> That's so ego boosting, Laszlo. Seven. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Yeah, it's still up. I'm going to bend backwards. <laughs> Literally, you're going to bend backwards. <laughs> I'll go and come back up. Take child pose again. One. Reach back for your heels. <laughs> so, from camel pose to child pose. Three. <laughs> four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep on breathing. Keep on breathing. Body get a little warm. Nine. One more, 10. I try to keep the stand-up comedy going, but we're gonna stand from, we go all the way to deeper squat, and then everything else steps So Deeper squat, knees up, reach up, reach back, all the way to child pose. So just deeper squat, child pose, all the way reach up, all the way to camel pose, and go back again to deeper squat, and should I go and stand up? Not yet. We'll stand up in a minute. Let's repeat this a few times. Let's go two more of these. And then we're going to stand up after that. That one, the last one on the ground. So every time now you go to the squat pose, you stand up, go deep squat, and there we go. Should I reach up with my arms? Yes, you should. Deep squat, knees down, child pose, camera pose, and twenty five of those. We did one, four more to go. Stand up, reach up. Woo. Nobody's out there standing up with so much work. <laughs> so 
So that took us around two minutes. So you should start the day with such a thing. Two minutes. But I'm not willing to do it. That's a different story. So one more after this last one. Good. That's what should have done it. Go on your forearms, please. Go on your forearms. Come to high plank pose, bring your right leg in front. Go back on your forearm, so we can send your leg back while you are on your forearm without touching the ground. So go to low plank pose again. Without, so leg, the moment get off the ground, it stays off the ground. Come to high plank pose again, bring the other leg in front. Go to low plank pose, take the leg back. There we go. Use a little bit of moment and it's already a lot of load there. Load low, take your leg back. That's number four. Do it to the down. Number five. Number seven. Eight. Nine. Good, so stand up. Now we're gonna launch back and we're gonna add all those moving to this. Okay, we warmed up with us. What do you want me to do? I want you to launch back with one leg. Put your palm down on the ground to stride them and launch. And go on your okay, forearm. What do you want to do? Exactly, that's what I'm asking you what you want me to do. You don't tell me. <laughs> step, back. step back and going down and coming back. How do you get rid of this? Really? Yeah. I told you guys. Oh, did you guys get that? My phone is talking to me. Okay. <laughs> we somehow we got back to standing, hopefully. There you go. If Launching we, back and doing it. We didn't just reverse lunge the other leg this time. Palms on the inside of your foot. Go down on your forearms. Step your leg back to plank. Come back to high push up pose. Same leg, let's step back. As soon as step back, just got my lunge. Come up to a high lunge. Step forward. I think that's what he meant. Yeah, keep going. You too. Reverse Eight more to go. Palms down. Forearms down. Step back, go plank. Same, come up to high plank. Same leg, steps forward, spider man lunge. Nice deep high lunge. Step forward. Reverse. Hands inside of foot. Forearm. Step back, low plank. Come to high plank. Same foot, steps forward, spider man lunge. Push up to high lunge. Step forward. Other leg. If you remember. Yeah. Number five. How are you guys? There you do. Keep moving because he's looking at you. <laughs> Four more guys, four more, four more, four more. Last two. Then we got one more, last one, I think. Go 
Go on your right legs, open arms, open legs. We're going to do left leg, right arm, other way around. But on top, we're going to have a pause for a fraction of a second. And then go down, coming back up. So pause on the bottom, pause on top, on both sides. Okay? Pause on the bottom. Go two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, keep on breathing. Eight, nine, ten, ten more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now we go 20, super duper fast. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're going to push up five, squat a straight kick, 10, banded jack. We're going to, do, going to need the band. 15. So I'll repeat what it is. Just told you what we're doing, then you know what it is. If you have a small band, I like to use it for my push-ups. You bounce back up quickly. You don't have to. It's just a way to modify. Five minutes. So five push-ups, ten squat straight kicks. So alternating a leg squat, straight kick. Ten. Count your squats. Yeah. And uh, get a long band, 10 banded jacks, or 15 banded jacks. 15 banded jacks. Okay. Or just jump band jack if you don't have band, don't worry about it. Five. Five. Squat the squat straight kick right after it. Count your squats. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, jump hand jacks or banded jacks. Fifteen, set, set, don't go. Don't need a band, you don't want one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. According to the time, we can do eight of those. We did one, we got seven more to go. So there you go. Three, four, five. Squat is straight kick, ten. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, jump and jack or band the jack. Go on your own. Go one, you don't have to wait for me. two, three, own. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make the arm bigger move all the way moving rather than just half of the way. So, should I bend my elbow? No, you should not bend the elbow. Six more to go, guys. Let's push this. Let's push this. Well, I just want to stop it all together. Well, well, well. Thank you, Jack. 
Let's go 15, jump and jack, Barry. Going, going, going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Beautifully done. Five more to go, guys. Five more to go. Go one, two, three, four, five. Done, Laszlo. Beautiful push up. And yes, Jen heard you too. Yeah, go. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's go, baby, baby, baby. Going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, done. Four more? Four more to go. We are happy way to go, Lori. Keep the spirit up. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Woo! Let's kill it, guys. Almost there. Almost there. Let's push. Last three. We just warm up, actually. We just warmed up. Up to this point, it was just getting the feeling going up. This is the last one. Two more. Almost there, almost there. Let's go. Last one, last one, last one. That's what I meant. Some of those ways start the last one. Yes, I have a knee. Yeah. Where is number nine already? <laughs> Done. You finish it. Oh. You finish it. Making me finish. Hold plank. You're done. Hold plank. Any variation? Play. Okay, guys, you want to start the new one. We're going to do jumping, I'm going to do deep squat, and we're going to bring it all the way to tabletop. Jumping? Yeah, the squat all the way, jump up the squat, jump up the one, two, we're going to reach all the way. Oh. 
22 jump and two reach. One, two, two reach. Upper the side. Okay. One left, one left. Okay. 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 You're talking to me, I'll talk to you. Two jump squats. And two reach. Left hand, right. Reach back. Right side up. Other side, reach back. Two jumping squats. Okay, last one. Okay. Stand up, we're going to do jumping lunges. Jumping lunges, we're going to do four of those. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to do hollow rocks. So as we're going through what we're going to do, basically. We're going to do four of those. Two, three, four, five. Good, stand up. The first one we did, we did three times. The second one, jumping lunges, we're going to do six times. Hollow rock, we're going to do it nine times. So we're adding it by three. What do you want me to do? Squat jump, three, go, we'll reach back. One, two, squat down, reach back. One, two. All of this is one. We've got two more to go. Go one, two, squat. And one hand down, reach back. Other side, reach back. That was two. Go one, one. Two, squat down, reach back. One, and two, that was jump. We're going to the next move, jumping lunges, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, done. Hollow rocks, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One down, seven to go. Oh my goodness. Go on, guys. Going, 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 you go to go when <laughs> two reach back one two so the more mobile you are a lot easier on this one one two one two reach back go one and two Done with this part, jumping lunges, six, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, all the rocks. That kind of your rest time, keep the core engaged and rest, basically, that's all it is. So we did two, six more to go. Squat, jump, one, Two, reach back, Betty. If any of those feel good, just hold it a little longer. The bridge pose is feel very good on the body. You can hold it longer. We have exhausted your quad probably. Can again a lot of load on it? So just Pause it a little. Jumping lunge. You can reverse lunge, you can load your back leg or not. Preferably, you do want to load your back leg, represented by knee farther away from the hip bone. Five more to go. I'm not tired, but I cannot do it. So, well, so some group of muscles are exhausted. That's what the reason is. What should I do in this circumstance? Just move. I can not reach over my head. So put hand under your shoulder. You don't have to reach over your head. Tabletop would do it. You don't have to go for bridge pose. We 
number four. Number five, you say, yeah. We start the number five, so three more to go. This one, yeah. Finishing number five. You got one minute of this to go, whatever number you got, it's going to be over in one minute. A 30 seconds. Twenty seconds to go. And that should have done it right. Another break. We saw the next one. We started with hammer kick. For those who want to kickbox and a little bit of kick. Don't don't feel discouraged if you didn't. It was supposed to be a time set. We are back from water break. Hammer kick, we go in. Going 10 left, 10 right, 20 left, 20 right, 30 left, 30 right. So we're going to do a lot of it. Be ready for that. Do not kick the ground with your toes. It's going to hurt you. Ready? Go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch leg. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, other leg twenty, go one, two, three, four, light on your five, front leg heel, don't put weight, don't lean on your front leg, weight. Front leg heel, seven, come on, the toes attach to your foot, eight, let's use a kick, nine, Keep them forward, ten, ten more, eleven, same leg, ten, four, thirteen, Light on your heel. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Switch day. 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Which day we go for 30 now. So one, two, that's our rest time. Who that thing? How is it going to be rest time? Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30. Switching leg, 
go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. We're going to do seven yoga push up. So, yoga push up. Starting now, Doug. So, diving push up. Go one, two, three. I like to spend some time in up dog. Four. You can go faster than me for three, seven. Five. <laughs> six. Seven. On the glutes bridge, single leg, seven left, seven right. That's it. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other side. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And go for high side plank pose. Knee and elbow going to touch the top leg. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other side. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We did one of those. We got four more to go. So we're going to do five of those uh, total. Keep on breathing, yoga push up. Count your own, shoulders away, breast one lift. Three, seven, a bit. Toes pointing back when you come up, be aware of it. Belly of your elbow pointing forward, arm get it straight, fingers wide open on the ground. Keep going, you have to wait for me. Glute bridge is the next one we're doing, Kelly. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Make sure you do both sides, left and right. Knee and elbow going to touch, high plank pose after that. Too much on your arm, go on your elbow. Bring your leg in, take your leg out. Finishing two, we got three more to go. You don't have to use your knees for up dog, down dog. I like to, or I should say, I need to. But you still come in these ranges of motion. Up dog, shoulders in line with elbows, push back, down dog. A little bit of a dive bomb on your way into your up dog. Slide down and come up. Keep going, you're doing seven single loop bridges. Each leg, when you're ready, you're on your own, right? We finish early, we're doing burpees until everybody's dead. I like to come in and out of each exercise instead of just rolling around. It just gathers my thought, gathers my connection. I 
As much as you work with strength, you work with stretch. Reach up over your head, drive your elbow to knee, and extend again. Two more. Remember, if you've done all five rounds, your piece. Don't rush it. Seven of each. Oh. Take the time of your bridge, really drive up and then up higher. Come up and then up higher. Down and up, up higher too, maybe. Up, 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 and then down. The last one? One more after that. Anyone on burpees yet? No, no, nobody's on burpees. He's watching you, making sure you're doing your burpees if you're done. Keep on breathing, keep on breathing as you move. Things are becoming real, even becoming more difficult. There's a lot, high level of communication exists there with you and body. You might see as an exhaustion. Yet. Nobody are burping yet, no. Nobody doing any burp yet. Everybody's together. Thumbs up and this is the last one. The last one. It's the last one. It's the last one. That's it. Stand up. So since we're gonna do a little more arm, let's work on, work on the leg a little first. We're gonna do a squat a straight kick. Squat a straight kick. Squat a straight kick. And then lots more arms coming right after that. Yeah, let's go for not just a squat, just a squat. Go one, squat a straight kick. Two, three, go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep your right leg back, please. Keep the right leg back. Back leg knee, touch the ground two times. Go one, two, two a straight kick. Go one, two. Same thing again, same leg. Don't switch one, two. So one, two, that was two, three, all the way up, four, all the way up, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 
Nine. One more. Ten. Switch leg. Set. Go. One. Lift yourself up again. Two. Three. Squat lower, righty. Four. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. We do toe tap, 100. 100 toe tap. So something on the ground, anything, any object, or any imaginary object should do it. 100. Go. We want to push up on elevated uh, surface, we want elevated push ups. So find the place, you can find the place. If you want to, you can find around your elbows. Some of you guys still have a fresh arm. You can put your leg on the elevated surface rather than your arm. So you choose where we are at. We can go five of those, and then we're going to do crocodile push up. So we're going to do high plank pose, go low part pulse, five pulses, and then come to high plank pose. Walk to the left, one, two, and go low, one, walk to the right, one, two, and one, two, one, one, two, two, that was two, this is three star, how many do we do? Five, remember? Five, everything is five. The only thing number is different is the toe tap. Going, 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 Abelia. Let's go. Walking to the left, walking to the right. Two steps, one push up. Done. That was five already. Stand up or toe tap again. 100. So we did one. We've got two more to go of this. Either leg on the box or hand. Our request is hands on the box. Crook with all pulses. Five again. And then quickly we're going to walk to the left and right. Two steps. One push up. Other side one push up. Both sides is one. 
for more to go. And I'm back to toe tap again. If your shoulder and arm is too fresh, you can add a tapping shoulder into it. Not fresh, but you can handle it. Fresh is the overextended of speaking, but you get the idea of it. If you are able to move your arm. That's what I mean with fresh. So last set, we're doing this. Up and to the bar. Keep your shoulder in proper place, chest lifting, rib cage back. Don't send your head forward down toward the ground. No chicken leg. Walking, push up. Left and right. Getting tired after 15 minutes of workout, it should be actually a natural thing. How you deal with the feeling, that's different the story. When you do push-ups on your knees, you have to come into high plank to walk. So it's good to get you off your knees. In a push-up, you should try to go down with no knees, getting your shoulders in line with your elbows. If you need assistance, keep your core tight as you use your knees to push yourself back up. And that's how you get better. I'm Good. Stand up. On top, palm together. Exhale, fold forward, palms on the ground. Give your right leg off to mat, rise it up as high as you can. Try to push into your standing leg foot. Push it down as you rise up. Down on the ground, inhale, look up, exhale, fold forward deeper, other leg up. Down on the ground again, please. Lift your heels up, raise your hand, rise your sit bones up, elbows in for each other again, as always, pretty. Side of your ribcage open, eyes witnessing your shin, knees are straight, kneecap lifting. Stretch back of your knees better, lengthen your spine longer, top of your head, reach toward your toes better, tailbone reach out toward your ceiling better. Now hold it and breathe. Gently let go of it, palms on the ground. Keep your right leg back all the way. Arms up, palm together. Front knee straight, back leg knee straight, fold forward all the way. Stretch back of your front knee better. Kneecap lift upward a lot better. 
lift the front hip bone up, drop the back hip bone down. Don't turn and twist to feel like you're going deeper down. Bend your front knee, palms on the ground, take the leg back, bring the other leg in front. Come back up all the way. Readjust your back leg if needed. Fall forward all the way one more time. Be aware of your back head bone. If brain would keep telling you, tilt it, tilt it, doesn't want to work, different feeling you want you to go into it. So bring the back head bone down, tell the muscle where you want them to be, let them behave properly. If your front head bone up, drop the back head bone down. Knee straight, three. Bend your front knee, take your leg back. Bring the other leg in front one more time. Arms up, palms together. When the front leg knee is straight one more time, when you twist it, triangle pose. Turn triangle pose, revolving triangle pose. Breathe deep. If the arm on top getting pinched or locked or uncuffed, put your hand on your hip. You don't need it up there. What you need here, chest lifting, rotate from the bottom side of the rib cage. Use the arm on the ball, and don't force the arm on top to twist deep. The request is open the bottom side of the rib cage. Keep the spine open and then turn it. Look down on the ground, palms on the ground, take your leg back. Bring the other leg in front, please. So knees are straight, readjust your leg. Bring opposite arm on your leg or on your sheet, on the ground, twist, lift. Look down again, arms on the ground, your legs back, bend your knees, take a child pose, arms extended. If your arms walk your left side, back to your center, walk to the other side, please. Come back to your center again. Done for now again. See you guys, next practice, good work, was a lot of work, I keep it live.